It's Easter weekend, and while families will be celebrating, it's good to keep your pets in mind, too. Howard Dashevsky is more on keeping your furry friends safe. Howard. Thank you very much. Yes, Sunday is Easter. The kids are going to be having a blast with their egg hunts, all the candy, all the flowers. But for our furry friends, Easter can be trouble. Kelsey Tanoi of the Hawaiian Humane Society joins us with Felicia here. And, uh, yeah, Easter is fun with all the goodies, but for our four-legged friends, it could spell a lot of trouble, right? Yes, yeah, so, you know, like you said, Easter's around the corner. People might like to eat treats, but we are suggesting that, you know, you don't feed your pets candy, especially those that have chocolate or xylitol, just because those substances can be harmful. They can make your pets extremely sick. Exposure can even be fatal in right. some cases. Um, some other ingredients to avoid would just be raisins and macadamia nuts. So, you know, a lot of families, you do the Easter egg hunts and you put your eggs and sometimes you have the little plastic ones filled with candy. That's where the real concern comes in, too, because maybe the kids don't find all the eggs, but Felicia and her friends are going to find them, right? Exactly. So what do you recommend in terms of that? Just kind of really know exactly what you're doing, keep an eye on everything, count them up before you make sure you don't leave everything out? Exactly that, um, you know, just keeping things out of reach just so they can't get into the candy or even like the grass, the plastic grass mm -hmm. that might be in those baskets because oh, yeah. you don't want them to ingest that either. And then there's also some flowers, you know, Easter is associated with lilies and other types of flowers, but even those, a lot of the flowers can be harmful, true? True. So animals, they're a lot more perceptive to fragrances mm -hmm. and lilies, like you said, um, can pose a risk to our four-legged friends um, so you really want to watch that because exposure for that can lead to gastrointestinal upset even kidney damage okay do you have some tips that people want to kind of know exactly does the Hawaiian Humane Society always have a list of tips uh, do's and don'ts especially pertaining to Easter or what not to do with your dogs or cats we don't have holiday specific but we always welcome calls you know about your pets um, or if you're looking you know to adopt what to expect, mm -hmm. what to avoid. Um, we always have our phone numbers open. All right. And by the way, Felicia is adoptable. She's looking for a home. Look at her. She's such a sweetie. She's what you said about nine months old? Uh, actually, 11 months. Oh, 11 months old. So mm -hmm. hopefully pretty close to being full grown, a nice little <laughs> size, uh, get a little bit of a workout here, even <laughs> holding her for a time. Yeah. But all right. Well, thank you very much, Felicia, for coming. And thank you, too. And uh, have a happy Easter. And most importantly, a safe one for our friends, right? Thank you. You as well. All right. Thank you very much. We send it back to you guys at the desk.